Hello, I'm Sangeeta Iyer, the founder of Voice for Asian Elephants Society, a National Geographic explorer, biologist, and an author of the most recently released book, Gods in Shackles. I'm putting out this video to make an appeal to the government of Rajasthan to gradually phase out elephant rides. The whole world is turning towards compassionate tourism. And there are so many tourism companies like the Expedia, for instance, they are actually preventing tourists from traveling to destinations where animals or elephants are being tortured. We have all seen the incredible suffering that elephants witness in a few movies about captive elephants. I myself had produced a film called Gods in Shackles, All Elephants Suffer in Captivity. They are born to roam across the forest, the vast forest. They have a significant role to play in the forest ecosystems. They wander across the forest 16 to 18 hours a day for hours on end. And when they do so, they drop dung across the forest floor. In the dung, there are seeds. Seeds become trees, and trees give us oxygen to breathe and take up the carbon dioxide. Elephants are also connected with climate change, and the African forest elephants in particular have been proven to sequester carbon. Each elephant sequesters carbon worth 75 million U.S. dollars. That's a lot of money. And instead of keeping them in the forest, we have such amazing natural treasures in India. We are abducting them from the wild, stopping them from doing, performing their significant job in the forest. And instead we are exploiting them in captivity by making them suffer the unimaginable cruelty, ripping them apart from their family, torturing them to submission, tearing all of the babies away from the mom and dad. Can you imagine if something like this is done to you, your family? Can you imagine what would happen if your child has been taken away from you? If your mother and father have been separated from you? Can you imagine? And this baby is trained ruthlessly using barbaric techniques using bullhook, beaten day and night, deprived of food, water, shelter, and only to provide rides for tourists who are so ignorant of the harsh realities behind all these tourism rides. Elephants also have a very protruding back, and this back is not designed for the 300 kilo howdah. So these howdahs that are placed on the elephants, they give a lot of comfort to people. But what comfort do they give to elephants? And these howdahs are tied around the tail so tightly. How can the elephants even excrete? How can they release? How can they pass their urine and excrement? How can they do that if all of these things are tightened? And anus is a very sensitive part of the body. And these ropes, they rub against the anus sensitive skin. Elephants are highly sensitive and intelligent beings. Their brains are three times as large as human brains, you know, and they are highly social animals. Their priority is protecting the young. And the thing is, they are also incredibly reflective. Their prefrontal cortex is highly evolved. They can think and they don't act impulsively regardless of what human beings do, regardless of how badly and cruelly humans treat them, elephants are so noble that they still are trying to be as gentle and compassionate as possible. My humblest request to the Rajasthan government is to please stop, please stop the elephant rides. There are so many other ways to make money, create sanctuaries. They are thriving in Thailand. People are flocking to Thailand to see how elephants are roaming around the sanctuaries free. Have some kind of a, you know, structure where they can just wander around freely. 
and people would come in the droves to just get a glimpse of these magnificent, majestic animals. Elephant rides are a thing of the past. Many tourism companies, like I mentioned earlier, are preventing their clients from traveling to areas where animals are being treated cruelly. And so it would be in your best interest to stop the elephant rides, release these elephants in sanctuaries. We from the Voice for Asian Elephant Society would be more than happy to work with the government and help you do whatever it takes. We are also willing to collaborate with the animal protection, the world animal protection, and we will do whatever it takes to help these elephants. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your kind consideration. We are here to help you. Namaste.